one of the major differences between Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat and non-Ahmadi Muslims is this that non-Ahmadi Muslims believe that after the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, the blessing of prophethood has been lifted and no prophet can come after him whatsoever. And this is the meaning of Khatamun Nabijin, the seal of prophets. Dear brothers and sisters, before we come to the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat view about it, it is important to know that there are two categories of prophets. The prophets who were law-bearing and the prophets who were not law-bearing. The law-bearing prophet is he who brings new book or religion. For example, Prophet Moses والسلام, who brought Torah, the Old Testament, and the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who brought the Holy Quran. And non-law-bearing prophets are who do not bring any new book, rather they are followers of the book which existed before them. For example, Prophet Ishmael, Prophet Ishaq, Prophet Yahya, Prophet Zakaria salam. Now according to the belief of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, no law-bearing prophet can come because the Holy Quran is a complete and a perfect book and so is the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But a Prophet can obviously come who is a follower of the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and comes to continue the mission of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the real meaning of Khatamun Nabijin, the seal of the Prophets. So Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan the founder of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat is Imam Mahdi, the promised Messiah and a prophet of Allah the Almighty who was sent to continue and accomplish the mission of his holy master Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One verse to prove that a follower prophet can appear after the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is in Surah An-Nisa verse 70. وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مَعَ And the translation of the verse is, And whoso obeys Allah and this messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shall be among those on whom Allah has bestowed his blessings, namely the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous. And an excellent company are they. Non Ahmadis argue about this verse by saying that the Arabic word in this verse used is ma'a, which means with. So, this verse is telling us those people who will obey Allah and His Holy Messenger will be with the Prophets, not one of the Prophets. So, this verse is not the proof of the continuity of the prophethood. So my dear Muslim brothers and sisters, 
one thing to note here is that word ma'a does not only mean with but it also means among and one of anyhow let us for a moment agree with their translation and continue to translate the verse and see what happens so according to non ahmadis the translation goes like this those people who will obey allah and the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam will be with the prophets but they will not become prophets they will be with the truthful but they will not become truthful they will be with the martyrs but they will not become martyrs and they will be with the righteous but they will not become righteous now it is up to the viewers to decide who are right and who are wrong before ending the video it is very important for you to know that in this verse the detail has been mentioned of that prayer which is taught by allah the almighty in surah al fatiha which goes like this ihdina sirat al mustaqim sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim guide us to the right path the path of those on whom you have bestowed your blessings